Uh, we're kicking off the summer car. I'm sorry. Sort of riches. <laughs> All right, there you have it, buddy. But let's get right to those missing Michigan teens on the run right now. Gone more than a week with little evidence of where they might be. Their families, as you can imagine, are distraught. And ABC's Lindsay Janice is here with much more on all this. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. The high school freshman took off in the middle of the night 10 days ago. This morning, their parents are desperately searching for them and trying to figure out why they would go to this extreme. Two young teens in love and this morning possibly in danger. 13-year-old Jaden Thomas and 14-year-old Braxton Wood, their relationship so intense, their parents say they appear to have run away together. I never thought Jaden had this in her to do this. Braxton is believed to have taken the family Ford Explorer in the early hours of Monday, August 26th. We looked around the house, realized Braxton was missing, and he, he hasn't had driver's training. Jaden had left her mom a note in lipstick on the mirror. She wrote, I love you so much. Stay happy and beautiful. So I know she loves me. Hours before they vanished, Kelly Drinkwine says she told her daughter the six-month relationship had become way too serious. She said that she couldn't live without Braxton. And that's when I felt that I had to not necessarily completely pull the plug on the relationship, but try and bring my daughter back to reality. They didn't want to do anything but be together. They didn't want to hang out with friends. Their focus was each other. And I mean, that's pretty intense for a 14 year old. The Star Cross students were due to start their freshman year at different Michigan high schools this week. And their parents say they even briefly broke up, possibly because of that. Braxton told us he was heartbroken. We thought that they had cooled it. We thought that they were not seeing each other anymore. But it seems the intensity returned. The day that she left, I said I no longer support this relationship. It's now been 10 days with no word. The teens reportedly had just $82 between them and half a tank of gas. Police have few leads, and now their parents are terrified the young couple could be in danger. Our worst fear is that they'll approach somebody, the wrong somebody. I just wish I knew what happened to them. A modern-day Romeo and Juliet story their parents hope will have a happier ending. Well, a private investigator helping the family says because the teens are believed to be runaways and not abducted, it's much more difficult to get help from law enforcement. They can't use the Amber Alert system, for example. Police confirm, though, that the license plate was spotted on Mackinac Bridge in Michigan seven days ago. They didn't have much money, so mm -hmm. the hope is they're still in the state somewhere. Yeah, the hope is they'll come home soon. Right. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, we're going to turn now to that surprise.